the most recent episode of Cooking with Mike uh, regarding grilled cheese. And um, you know, I'm a little hesitant to do this. I don't want to be stepping on this turf. I don't want this to be seen as something about me. Um, it's nothing about his ingredients. It's nothing about you know uh, the love for the food. I love the food too. Uh, that's my son screaming. Um, this, uh, you know, and I don't want to turn this into, you know, something like Randy would do, making this about him. You know, this isn't about me. You know, and uh, and I don't want to be like Tom S. You know, I don't want to, you know, you know, be all grumpy. Oh, I don't like that. It didn't please me that last episode. You know, I'm not like that. I don't, you know, sit in rickshaws and whatever. This this isn't about me. This isn't about Tom. This isn't about Randy. This isn't about Eric. I love Eric's show. It's the greatest thing ever. This is about grilled cheese, and, and grilled cheese is really important to me. I mean, I don't know many sandwiches that are as important to me as grilled cheese. Because, because I'll tell you why. Because I don't do very many things well. But, uh, you know, I can't make a, a wooden train, uh, you know, out of wood. I can't carve wood into a train. I'm not a good woodworker. You know, I'm not good at work in general. I pretty much get yelled at at my boss by my boss on a regular basis. Uh, I'm not a very good dad. I'm not a very good husband. I'm not a very good person, really. But I am very good at making grilled cheese, and I think that a lot of people could benefit from uh, this correction, I guess, if you will, about Eric's methodology of cooking grilled cheese. Um, because I think he made some major mistakes that most people do. These are very common mistakes, and um, I'm going to point them out to you now. So um, uh, hopefully we'll do it in a quick amount of time, so we can do it in one shot. Okay, uh, so much for the intro. Let's let's get to cooking the grilled cheese the, the way I've learned to do it through time, through trial and effort, through dedication and, and uh, compromise. I don't know about the compromise part that just came out. Anyways, check this out. All right. Anyway, okay. So let's go to the, what I think was the first and most important uh, mistake that Eric made in the beginning of his grilled cheese sandwich. And that is that he he basically turned his pan up to seven or something like that and had... Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm talking to the camera. You, you want to say hi to the people in the camera? Anyway, um... You, I do put the cheese in the pan. I think that's very important. And then um, I put it at a, at a low, medium setting, around four. That's a, I think that helps. You've got to get this, this butter to melt slowly. And this is sort of the key here about the grilled cheese sandwich is that it seems like a real fast you know, on-the-go kind of meal, but really if you want to enjoy it and have it be good, sandwich uh, where the cheese is melted and the bread is golden brown and juicy then you have to be willing to put in some time and that's what I'm doing right now I, I got the oven at four and I'm gonna wait for the the butter to melt and uh, in the meantime I have actually already put the sandwich together um, this is some uh, uh, French bread that I bought for a, a work potluck that nobody ate so I'm eating it and uh, I've already buttered this side. So yes, that's two layers of butter, but uh, it's not, I don't, you know, it wasn't the same. Anyway, it doesn't matter how much butter you use. I mean, it's all up to personal taste. As Eric says, I truly believe in that theory. I don't want to be discounting that. But I'm just talking about the methodology here. So I'm doing a slow cook, slow melt on the butter. And when it fully melts and we put it on the pan, then I'm going to show you a very crucial step, too, that I think is going to blow your minds. Okay. Uh, the butter has melted on the pan, uh, and it coats it. You can't even see it. It's perfectly coated and melted. Um, and as you see, I'm still at four, and, you know, medium is set at five. All right, so I'm going to lay my buttered side down, right in the center. And now I, uh, now I melt, I put butter on the other piece of bread. Okay. And I could have done it before, but I didn't want to get my fingers all buttery. Okay. Butter, buttered bread. And put it there. Now, here's the, here is, 
here is the vital step. All right, vital. Keeping it at a medium low setting, upper low medium, whatever. You put a lid on top of the pan and you patiently wait for the butter to melt. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, uh, the, the butter is melted. Um, many times before I just turned this on, I was tempted to turn the grilled cheese sandwich over. But I kept looking at the butter and it wasn't fully melted. So, um, but now it is. And uh, hopefully I didn't take too long. But now I flip it. Now it's a little more brown than I'd like it. But it's certainly a lot less brown to black than Eric's was. And um, you can already see that the cheese is really getting melted in there. Um, and now the second part is rather uh, quick um, because the pan is now heated up to the point where it was heated up when Eric first laid his sandwich on there. And you know, you heard the ksh, and it was a big you know, explosion of uh, butter hitting pan, margarine in, in, the, in this case. Uh, in his case, not mine. But it's, about, it's not about the ingredients, this is about just the method. The method. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, see now it's already cooked over there. And guess what? Voila! Um, it's, uh, you know, you can see that side's pretty good. But look at this, look at this side. I mean, look at that. And the cheese is melted, and it's thick bread. And it's melted, and I got, I, oh, well, it's, it's not as melted as I'd like. I shouldn't have done <laughs> I'm going to cook it a little longer. That's what I'm going to do. But, uh, you know, you get the idea. That bread was really thick. <laughs> anyway, that, you get the general point I'm trying to make, is that you needed to give it more time, and I apparently needed to give that more time. But um, uh, now I think when, if I do give it more time, it'll be um, good to uh, go. And then we can eat and, you know, be happy. So uh, I guess I don't really have any final thoughts. I don't want to do any, I mean, this isn't, this isn't me doing cooking with Jablonowitz. This is just an attempt to, um, to respond to what I thought was perhaps uh, not the best, uh, well actually what I really wanted to do, because what I think what Eric did was, um, was something that a lot of people do when they're cooking grilled cheese, and uh, my wife is a, a big uh, perpetrator of this crime, which is overheating the pan, and not giving it enough time to turn into the golden brown, creamy cheesy sandwich that it really should be. Um, and that we're all, that's why we eat it, right? I mean, come on.